Welcome back to another Code War. This one is Sum of Odd Cube Numbers, the JavaScript Implementation. The instructions say, find the sum of the odd numbers within an array after cubing the initial integers. This function will return undefined if any of the values aren't numbers. So this one is pretty straightforward. We're going to just take in an array, check if all of them are numbers. If so, we're going to pick out the odd numbers and just cube those odd numbers and add them to one total. Here we have uh, in this test case there's a 1 and a 3. You cube 1 it's 1, you cube 3 it's 27, you add them it's 28. This last test case there's none numbers which will automatically return undefined. The first thing I would do is create a variable total, assign it 0 which is going to in the end return the sum of those odd cube numbers. First thing I'm going to also do, I guess second thing, is do a for loop which will iterate through our array. First initializing i to be 0, then we're going to compare our count and say as long as it is less than the length of our array, so r dot length, then we want to continue iterating through that array so here we'll do if and then we can use is not a number to check whether or not whatever instant we are in that array is a number or not by throwing in here r i so r bracket i will contain the current instant in the array and it will check if is not a number so you might be tempted to want to throw in a triple equals true which is not necessary since this will automatically return true or false. So we could actually end it there. And then our code will go under here for this if statement, which would update total to be undefined. And then we just want to return total. So then we could come outside of that if statement and that for loop and just do a an array dot map and we're going to just use X to represent that current part of the array we are in and we're going to do another if statement which checks if whatever X is modulus 2 is not equal to 0 which basically says if whichever number we are at is odd because an odd number is not divisible by 2 and it wouldn't return 0. So if x modulus 2 is not equal to 0 then we want to go ahead and run this code which will update x and say x is assigned x times x times x and then we want to go ahead and return total is assigned total plus x and then so that should let me just make sure I ended all this stuff right make sure we have everything where it should be there should be another one of these right here and I believe we need a closing parentheses and then under this we just want to go ahead and return our total so now if I run this let me actually first look at my logic and make sure it makes sense so again we have an array here we have total initialized to zero which in the end will hold our cubed sums value um, so we have this for loop which will just check if it's not a number and it goes through each part of the array if at any time there is not a number we return undefined and then we just return that total which would be undefined if this ever is the case. If not, we will jump down to our map of our array and we check if if any instant through the that array we have an odd number and if so, we're going to update x to be x cubed and then return total by assigning to total total plus x. And then it will go back into this map and do the same process over until it goes through the whole array. And that should be good. So let's go ahead and run our sample test. 
So as you guys can see, we did pass three of the tests. Um, let's just go ahead and attempt this now, the big test, and see if we're good. So as you guys can see, we did pass all 102 tests. I know this isn't the most efficient way, probably, because uh, I kind of split this into two, and I probably could have added um, this this map into my for loop, just maybe outside of outside of this uh, outside of this if statement. Either way, this worked, and I was just trying to do this as quickly as possible, and this is what my head came up with. If you guys go ahead and do this one. Go ahead and take your time and refactor it, and I would like to see your guys' way of doing it. But thanks for joining. See you guys on the next one.